guys so today we will start with the functions in OOPC now what is main function okay so main function is the entry point of program execution in C++ okay program should have exactly one main function like void main int main it should have contained the one main function okay now what is the syntax of the main function first is data type it may be void or int then main then curly braces own okay main program statement whatever the state statement was there okay then now curly braces close now data type indicates the return type of the main function okay it would be get ch also it would be return zero also now the example of the same is void main okay data type is void then curly braces on then main program statement integer a equal to 341 b equal to 143 now a and b are the integers okay c out c out a and endl b instead of printf in c plus plus or opc we are using the c out for printing anything okay and slash and and endl for next line now second second one is function prototype now what is prototype function prototype give the detail about function such as name written type of the function number and name of arguments and written type of, of that particular argument okay now the syntax is data type function name then argument list example is data type void okay you can uh, you can take int also function name add you can take anything your name also okay then argument list integer a column integer b column integer c so we have three arguments okay now here written type of function is void name function is add and total three arguments such as a b and c and all argument are type of integer okay so that are the written type now in function declaration name and initialization of an argument are optional but in functional definition it is compulsion okay for example void add integer 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 it is a valid okay now void add integer x integer y integer z it is also valid okay now call by reference third one is call by reference okay in call by reference we pass the argument to the function by using its reference okay so for that we are using the end percentage and it's also define the reference of another variable now in call by reference function works on original data because actual value is copied into reference variable by using end now void swap i am taking swap as a function name integer pointer here i am taking integer a and b in main function i am taking integer a equal to 100 b equal to 200 swap function calling this is the definition of the function i am calling the function over here and a comma and b c out print karwa rao a and b okay void swap again void swap kia definition mein hai, integer x integer y okay integer t kia t equal to x kia x equal to y kia x ka jo bhi reference hai means a t mein jayega temporarily 100 y ka 200 hai to wo temporary x mein jayega okay t mein jo 100 hai wo y mein chala jayega again swap hoga yahan se so your output will be a equal to 200 and b equal to 100 respectively okay here a and b are the actual arguments and they are copied into x and y respectively just because of we are using here n percentage and for address we are using the pointers okay now in above example a is a reference variable for x and b is a variable for y it is as simple okay you can use the debugger always in the code blocks to execute line by line program and in a turbo c++ you can press the F7 okay, to execute line by line program. Now, the fourth one is written by reference. Okay, now in written by reference, function return a value by using its reference. Okay, so syntax is data type and function name and argument list. Now, example is integer as a data type and means reference variable for a function and name max. You can take your name also, integer and percentage x comma integer and percentage y here i am taking one example for written by a reference it is simple integer and percentage max integer x and y before that i am taking n percentage if x greater than y 
then just return x else if else you can return the y okay void main i am executing the entry point integer x equal to 10 and y y equal to 20 printing out c out max x and y yahan pe function call kar diya x and y to bada kya hai bhai so output will be 20 okay so this is called the return by reference okay return x kar diya return y kar diya this is called the return by reference okay theek hai okay the next is inline function a function that is expanded in line when it is invoked invoke ka matlab hota hai enter hona it is called inline function okay now in inline function compiler replaces function call with corresponding reference code okay so ye jo aapka time execution ka hota hai wo thoda decrease kar reta hai matlab ki fast execute karega okay now the syntax is inline before the data type any data type okay or return type you have to put inline then function name then argument list then function body okay example set kiya hua inline integer add integer a comma integer b return a plus b void main jo main function hai integer a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 c out add a b so 10 plus 20 yahan pe inline pe hoga 30 so aap debugger point jab bhi lagaoge code blocks mein ya turbo c plus plus mein app 7 enter karoge to wo interpreter hai aapka line by line program execute karega to first of all wo yahan pe aayega inline function mein ठीक है उसके बाद ऐड का फंक्शन है तो यहां पे मेन में आएगा कॉल करेगा 10 20 को ऐड में जाएगा यहां पे रिटर्न ए भी हो रहा है ठीक है फिर से यहां पे आएगा एंड देन गेट सी में और रिटर्न जीरो में जाके एग्जीक्यूट कर देगा ओके सो आई मस्ट रिफर दैट यू शुड टेक द डिबगर पॉइंट इन कोड ब्लॉक्स एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग द टर्बो सी प्लस प्लस प्रेस द एफ सेवन ओके डू नॉट डिरेक्टली एग्जीक्यूट योर प्रोग्राम विथ कंट्रोल प्लस एफ नाइन ओके प्रेस द एफ सेवन इन टर्बो सी प्लस प्लस एंड टेक अ डिबगर in code block okay so next question is limitation and disadvantage of inline function inline function is recursive second one is inline function contains the static variable only and advantage of inline function is inline function makes program execution faster because function call is eliminated okay wo delete ho jayega function call so it make program faster execution faster now the seven question is default argument what is default argument in function declaration initialization of default value is called default argument okay whatever we take as argument that is called default argument default argument is checked for the type at the time of declaration and evaluated at the time of call okay evaluation hoga uska call pe function call karoge wahan pe okay we must pass the default values from left to right if the leading argument is initialized then all talented argument must be initialized Okay, now void add integer a equal to five, integer b equal to ten, and integer uh, integer c equal to twenty. I am taking for example, it is called your valid valid arguments. Okay, valid default argument. If you are adding void add integer a, integer b equal to hundred, and integer c, so this is called invalid. Tailing है वहाँ पे नहीं आ रहा है, ठीक है? Tailing है argument वहाँ पे c equal to कोई value आ नहीं चाहिए, वो नहीं आ रही है default argument. So this is called the invalid argument. Again, I am taking void at integer a, integer b, integer c equal to 100. This is called the valid argument. If you are not taking uh, any value of a, but if you are taking, uh, if you are taking at the c, okay. If you are not taking at b, it is okay. But if you are taking at c at tail net point, so it is called valid argument. Void at integer a, integer b equal to 100, integer c equal to 50. It is also valid. Okay. Now, advantages, it provides a greater flexibility and to add a new parameters to the existing functions. Okay. Now, your next point is const argument. If we initialize argument as a const, then it is known as const argument. Okay. Aap kisi bhi variable ke aage const laga doge, to uski value nahi change ho paegi. Okay. Const argument will be defined using the const keyword. Okay. It is qualifier or keyword. We can say that qualifier also. Const argument can't be bonified. For example, void print integer equal to 10 and const b. I am taking const before the b. Void main I am taking main function integer equal to 10, const b equal to 20. So 20 we can't change the value from b. Okay, variable b ki value change nahi ho, ho paigi yahan pe. Print a b function uh, function ko print karwara. 
करवा रहा हूं यहाँ पे ठीक है कॉलिंग हुआ इसका ओके कॉलिंग हुआ प्रिंट ए बी देन वाइड प्रिंट इंटीजर ए कॉन्स्ट बी एक्वल टू हंड्रेड वी कैन मॉडिफाई दिस बी इक्वल टू थर्टी कांट मॉडिफाई ओके ट्वेंटी का थर्टी नहीं होगा सी आउट कर रहा हूं ए एंड बी सो योर आउटपुट विल बी हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वी कांट मॉडिफाइड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी ओके We can modify A, but we can't modify B because B is constant argument. Okay, वो constant रहेगी. We cannot modify that or change that. Again, your next question is function overloading. Okay, same function name can be defined more than one time with different types of argument to perform same or different task. Okay, so function name यहाँ पे same रहेगा. ठीक है? Function का name change नहीं होगा. But you can Access that function name in different type of task. For example, here I am taking void math as the declaration of the function. Again, void math and void math. I am taking different arguments: integer a, b, c, d, e, and x and y. Okay. Here I am taking the main function. In that, I am putting the value uh, from or variable. Okay, a to y. Here math a b calling kiya. Again math c d e calling kar raha hu main yahan pe. Yahan pe maine function ko call karwana ban kiya. Okay, main function close ho gaya yahan pe. वाइड मैथ अगेन मैंने कॉल किया उसमें इंटीजर ए एंड बी किया ओके अल्ली प्रेसेस ऑन कर रहा हूँ सी आउट ए प्लस बी यहाँ पे कर रहा हूँ तो यहाँ पे एडिशन कर रहा हूँ मैं सी आउट का यहाँ पे वाइड मैथ का यहाँ पे वाइड मैथ इंटीजर सी डी एन ई किया तो सी इंटू डी इंटू ई कर रहा हूँ ठीक है तो यहाँ पे अगेन मल्टीप्लीकेशन होगा तो देखो यहाँ पे फंक्शन नेम है वो सेम है बट द टास्क है टास्क डिफरेंट है तो दिस इज कॉल्ड द फंक्शन ओवरलोड ओके In above program, math function is overloaded. In this, a function call first matches the numbers and types of argument and then executes. Okay, remember that a best match must be unique. Overloaded function are used for handling class object. Okay. Okay. And the end of the lecture. Okay. We are taking one quote. If you lost property, then you lost nothing. If you lost time, then you lost something. But if you lost character, then you lost everything in your life. Okay always be a learner and we'll meet in the next lecture